Hey everybody, it's Delta Shiny Zeta here, and today I'm going to be talking to all of you about how to play We're Not Really Strangers. This is a game that received a lot of hype through social media and TikTok and other platforms recently in the last six months or so, probably more actually. Uh, but it's a very interesting game for sure, because it's very different than pretty much every game I've actually covered on my channel of how to play. This game is not a game that's meant to be strategic or trying to win and defeat your opponent in a competitive way. It's very different. The goal of this game is actually to build a deeper connection with the partner that you are with. Partner meaning anybody. It can be a friend, it can be a family member, it can be somebody you're romantically involved with, and so on and so forth. It could be a stranger too. I mean, it says we're not really strangers, right? But anyway, the box sum says leave connected. What says come curious, leave connected, and all the sides. Uh, but it's a very simple box actually. It's just red with white font, and that's it. Anyway, as far as how to play the game, there's two different ways, or two different modes. There's a two-player mode, which is the highly recommended way to do it, and then there's a multiplayer mode as well, which I'll talk about at the end, where you can play with technically up to six players at the same time if you would like to. Anyway, upon opening the box, you're going to see a couple things, actually. It's a very, uh, very tight box here with a lot of things. You'll be seeing a bag with a couple things on there, and then you'll be seeing two pencils, which you can go ahead and remove and also three different sets of cards. Now you can remove them for the game and make three different draw piles if you would like to, or you can just leave them in here because they are labeled. Now there's a one, a two, and a three, and this will be important. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave this like that, just knowing that's one, two, and three. Basically the side that says level is face down. So that's the part that you actually want to have um, so that your, so nobody actually sees what the cards are. So if both players are like on this side, let's say, I wanna put them like that. That way, you know, you just pull from here. But anyway, I'm gonna leave that like that. I'm gonna open this. So this has a couple things. Uh, the very first thing you'll see is these two transparent cards and then one red card as well. Uh, for the setup, pretty simple. You're gonna give one of these dig deeper cards to each player. So let's say both players are here. There's one there and one there. Let's go give one to each player. I'm gonna put the pencils over here on the side for now. And then we also have a final card. The final card you're going to want to go ahead and just set aside or you can just put it there in the middle, it's fine. You also have a little note from the creator and I do want to share this. It says, I have found there are two ways to play this game. One is to play safe and the second way is to play to grow. The second is how you win. We're not really strangers. It's really cute and adorable because that is the point of the game. Anyway, there's also a how to play. I'm not going to be talking about this right now because I'm going to be showing you all how to play. And then there's a notepad. The notepad is only used for the end of the game alongside the pencil, so I'm just going to put this aside as well. Anyway, as far as how you play, you go ahead and take a look at your partner. You stare at them. You both stare at each other. The person who blinks first goes first. What does it mean to go first? Let's say that the person over here blinked first. They go first. We're going to start with level one. So they're going to be pulling cards from level one. Make sure to shuffle these cards. Every single time you play, you want to make sure to shuffle them. They're going to pull one card from level one. They're going to read it and not have the other person, you know, look at it. Because sometimes you don't want to reveal it for some, for some reason. This one says, do I seem like someone who would get a name tattooed on myself? Why or why not? That's how, kind of the premise of the game. You essentially read the card and then the other person is going to answer. Player A asks, player B answers. And then when player B answers, depending on the question, some are perception based, some can be technically right or wrong, depending on what the, you know, percept the perspective of the person. The person can go ahead and reveal the truth correctly if they said something wrong. But a lot of them are subjective as well. Um, so for example, if the person over here says that they do seem like a person, but the person that asked the question is like, hell no, I would never get a tattoo. They can say that once you know the person actually answers. So there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of that going back and forth. But anyway, once it's red, you just simply put it face up, and then the player on the right, so player B, would actually take a card, and then we just alternate like that. This one says, what do you think I'm most likely to splurge on? And so on and so forth. That's how that basically goes. Just make a discard pile for each level individually. Um, as far as how to get to the next level, all you have to do is simply pick up 15 questions. Pick up about 15. You can do more if you want, you can do less. The game is very open-ended in that way. But once you pull 15 level 1 questions and both players agree to move on to level 2, you can move on to level 2. 
as a quick little reminder, you get this Dig Deeper card. The purpose of this Dig Deeper card is you get to use it once per level on the other player to basically have them dig deeper, to answer the question even deeper. Basically, if the person who asked the question believes that they didn't really dig deep enough into that answer and they could go deeper in their two surface level, you can use it to make the other person dig deeper. You get to use this once per level on the other player, but you don't have to use it if you don't want to. As far as the actual themes of the levels, I didn't really mention this, but the first one is perception. I was using the word perception a lot. Uh, the second one is actually connection. And the third level is reflection. So we do kind of dig deeper into this and how it works with building a connection with the other person. Uh, to advance to level three, again, just read out about uh, 15 questions or so, and you can move on after that. Um, there are some wild questions. I did actually see some such as um, I believe, no, it's not that one. There are wild questions on with wildcard questions. Uh, some of them will actually let you ask your own question. Some of them will um, actually have a time limit as well, which is really interesting. Let me pull out the level ones just so you can see. A couple, here's a wild card. This one's a little bit different. But this one, you would close your eyes and you would ask, what color are my eyes? So some of them, it helps to actually read internally first because you don't want to actually read and be like, close your eyes. No, no, you have to close your eyes, not read that out loud you know but this one says draw a portrait of each other one minute an exchange pretty cool really cute stuff the whole purpose is to get to know somebody else a lot better now once you actually are finished with level three all you're going to do is take a look at this final card flip it face up and it says each player write a message to the other full and exchange open only once you two have parted meaning like once you two left or whatever like if you're at the same house same place or go to work whatever you know, only open it after you've left and you're not there with the person anymore. For using a note, you can use this paper here if you would like to. You can also use any other sheet of paper. It doesn't really matter, but that's the whole purpose of the, you know, the two little pencils and a notepad. So yeah, that's essentially how the game works. Again, it's not meant to be competitive and to quote unquote win. It's meant to build a better relationship with the person you're playing with. That's the two player mode. There is a multiplayer mode which actually has a lot of players. It can be up to six players. The way it works is pretty similar in some ways, uh, but you would actually, let me just go ahead and set up everything. There's a Dig Deeper card here. You really only need one Dig Deeper card and you can just place it in the middle. The other one you can just put away. And then the final card will work a little bit differently too. But the way multiplayer works is that you actually begin by writing your first impressions in three sentences or less for each player in the group on one of those sheets, one of these notepad sheets. So there's six players, you're going to be writing kind of a lot, you know, because there's a lot of players in the game. And once each player has written the notes uh, and then they folded it, uh, they get to basically exchange it among the group. But make sure that these notes actually remain folded until the end of the game, because in the end of the game, you're then going to be able to see those and see what other people wrote about you in terms of first impressions. As far as who goes first in this version, the player who's the most hesitant to play the game will actually draw first. Pretty funny, but that's how that works. And the way that you ask questions here, it's a little bit differently. I mean, you basically ask it, but you're asking the question not to one person. But when you read a question, you're going to read it out loud and every participant is going to answer the question in no particular order, usually whoever wants to actually answer. Or you could always just go from left to right if you would like to in that way as well. As far as how to move on to the next level in multiplayer mode, uh, once each player has actually read at least two question cards from the, the level and answered every question, post to them, then they can move on to the next level. That's how that works. Same thing from two to three. And then once level three is complete, final step is to visit the first impressions notes and actually, you know, take a look at the notes that were said about you from every single player. That's basically how that works. Um, the Dig Deeper card is going to be in the middle because every player can actually use the Dig Deeper card once in the game. Um, if they would like to just simply pick it up and say, hey, I want to use Dig Deeper on you on the answer that you gave. That's how that basically works. Other than that, that is how you play We're Not Really Strangers. It's a very fun game if your goal is to actually get really closer and deeper with another person on a more personal level. Really good to use with family members, friends you want to get closer to, your partner as well. Although there is actually a couples edition of this game that's recently been released and I do want to cover that on the channel as well. Anyway, before I end this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on those notifications if you enjoyed the video. I will see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.